this is uh, National Voter Registration Day. My name is. <laughs> My name is John Park, uh, the Executive Director of the Ming Kwan Center for Community Action, and uh, we are a lead organization of APA Voice. Asian Pacific Americans voting and organizing to increase civic engagement. It's, an, it's a coalition of member organizations uh, that has about t 19 different uh, organizations that are involved in the coalition. And several uh, APA voice organizations are also joining us today from the Asian Americans for Equality, uh, Chai CDC, Homecrest Community Services, um, and also the uh, Greater Flushing Chamber of Commerce. Commerce. And we are here at the Flushing uh, Library, uh, which is an institution and a cornerstone of the Flushing area. Uh, and it's expanding the definition of what a, a library does, um, going way beyond lending and borrowing. And the Minkwin Center has participated uh, and partnered with the Flushing Library in the past for voter registration, uh, including hosting candidate forums. I was just here back in May testifying in front of the New York City uh, Charter Commission. So the role that the library has in our community for educating the community, uh, engaging the community, uh, and, and uh, being a part of the Flushing ecosystem uh, is critical to our area. And with that, I'd like to introduce uh, the other co-host of uh, this, uh, this press event, um, Yang Zhen, from the director of the Flushing Library. Thank you, John. Good morning. I want to welcome all of you to Flushing Library. Welcome Assemblyman Ron Kim, John Chloe from uh, Greater Flushing Chamber of Commerce, John Park from uh, Ming Kwan Center, and community organizations leaders. Welcome to Flushing Library. Today is the National Voters Registration Day. We also have something special going on in the library. Queen's Library is collaborating with Brooklyn Public Library and New York Public Library to host voters registration drive in 216 branch libraries across the city. So voters registration forms are not only available in Flushing Library, it's also available in all community libraries in Queens. This morning, when I was in the library, somebody came up to me and asked me this question. Why does the library have voters registration form? Everybody knows the library is an information center. People come to the library to read, to do research, to do homework. I want to tell you the kind of question we receive in the library nowadays are more than just the traditional reference questions. We receive a lot of questions uh, beyond those traditional questions such as, I want to travel from one location to another. Can you give me the travel direction? Can you tell me my kids zone school and something like that? The library is not just an information center, it's the center of community life. We're not just saying that, it's the fact and that's how our customers look at us. For example, last year in Flushing Library, we served 1.7 million visitors. We provide 2,600 programs and 140,000 people attend those programs. We circulate 1.1 million books, magazines, and DVDs. The mission of Queen's Library is also to transform people's lives and build strong communities. So providing the voters registration forms is uh, something aligned with our mission. As the center of the community and as a nonpartisan organization, the library is the perfect place to provide voters registration form. So if anyone has not have a chance to register to vote, please stop by at the reference desk and pick up the form. If anyone would like to update the voters registration information too, you can also do that. And you don't even need to mail in the application form. Our staff will take care of the mailing for you. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much. And it's absolutely true that this library plays a community center role in, in, our, in our communities. Uh, so we are also very, very uh, pleased to be joined by our local assembly member, Ron Kim. Thank you, John, and thank you to all the community partners of APA Voice, and thank you to all the staff of the Flushing Library for keeping this amazing place uh, moving forward and opening up and partnering up with APA Voice for uh, the next couple of months to register as many voters as possible. You know, earlier this month, my uh, father-in-law, who, who just became a naturalized citizen earlier this year, casted his first vote. Uh, it was such a a wonderful, emotional, and he researched all the candidates for like two weeks, went online. Um, he was so excited to go in as a family to cast his first vote. Um, and this is something that every new voter, every new immigrant should also celebrate as a community, as a family. And that's the kind of, I think, mentality that we need to adopt moving forward. Um, in a place like Flushing, it's very, I know it's very difficult, you just walk around People are just trying to get to point A from from point A to point B, and we're very it's a, it's a congested, busy, competitive place. But every time that you have an issue or a complaint about your child's future, about benefits, about how how crowded the library is, if you're not registered, if you don't vote, your complaint don't matter. I mean, you have to participate. You know, just yesterday morning, somebody came up to me while I was kind of uh, around the corner and just started complaining to me about all these Republicans and Democrats fighting and how, how horrible the candidates are and how, how you know, uninterested she is. And I was like, oh, you're a registered voter. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm registered. Did you vote? It's like, no. Um, when was the last time you voted? I don't remember. Well, you know, don't come to me and complain about all this stuff if you have a vote and you don't participate. You know, so I, you know, it's a beyond registration, I just think we need to fundamentally change the mindset of, of immigrants and the people in Flushing to get involved, take ownership of our future. So with that, uh, let's register as many voters in the next couple of months as possible. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. I actually saw the, the video clip on the Facebook of, of, of your father-in-law registering. It's very, very meaningful, uh, and it was, a, it was a beautiful moment. It's a sacred act, uh, uh, which is an integral part of our democracy. And it's absolutely true that if we don't exercise our voice, we will not be heard. And the only way that we can exercise our power and influence and make sure that our community needs are met is to register and vote. Uh, we are also um, uh, very pleased to have a lot of the uh, several coalition members from APA Voice with us. Uh, APA Voice doesn't only do re voter registration, we do voter education, we, we send out voter guides, uh, we do it in a lot of different languages. Uh, we have candidate forums, we had one you know, for, the, for the New York State primary, uh, and we'll conti we continue doing this. Um, and it's not just voting and voter registration, but it's beyond that. It's about participating in the census. It's about holding our elected officials accountable. So this is just the first step in a long process of making sure that we have a meaningful impact in our civic life. Uh, next up, I'd like to um, introduce Crystal Fang from the Asian Americans for Equality. Thanks, John. Uh, hi, my name is Crystal Fang, project manager of Asian Americans for Equality. On behalf of my co-executive director, Jennifer Sun, and Thomas Yu, we wanted to um, concur that uh, the importance of voter registration, um, throughout our work with APA Voice, we are a proud member of APA Voice, and we also done a lot of uh, voter registration drive here in uh, Flushing Library. Throughout the work, we found out that a lot of people have the needs that um, once they become citizen, they can ultimately go vote, which is not true. You have to register to vote first before you can actually go into the post and vote for your uh, candidate. And as the fastest uh, ethnic, uh, fastest growing ethnic group, I always ask our people, why you give up your exercise, your, your right of exercising uh, to, to voice out your, your uh, your voice. So here today is a very important day. Uh, APA Voice is uh, raising the awareness for uh, National uh, Registration uh, Registration Voter Day. So we encourage everybody who are citizen have not done the voter registration, 
you just take a couple minutes and um, you're done and you can go vote. Thank you. Thank you, Crystal. Um, I just want to reconfirm or revalidate what she just said about Asian Americans being the fastest growing population, not only at the national level, but also at the state and the city level. Uh, Asian Americans have grown 72% since 2000. That is tremendous. We're also 15% of New York City, which means our voice absolutely matters. We can actually have a decisive role in a lot of elections and we need to exercise that. Uh, I would like to now um, bring up uh, Jagpreet Singh from China CDC. Good morning, everybody. My name is Jagpreet Singh. I'm the lead organizer at Chaya CDC. We work with the South Asian and Indo-Caribbean community to build our collective power, housing stability, and overall economic well-being. We're here today to join our partners at APA Voice in celebrating National Voter Registration Day. It's no secret that communities that vote are the ones that receive attention from our electeds. But unfortunately, the AAPI communities, and particularly the South Asian communities, have some of the lowest voter turnout rates in our city. But make no mistake, this doesn't just come from apathy. Our communities have been long alienated from the political process in the city. And the prevailing assumption is that our communities won't care, so they're not outreached, activated, or given the opportunity to have their voices heard. We can't expect the institutions that created this environment to change overnight. We must do this work with our neighbors and our communities to ensure we're educating and continuously building power, both politically and socially. Voter registrations to folks, of course, who have the ability and right to vote is one of the first and much needed steps in this process. It's the only tool we really have to hold our elected officials accountable. And as long as we're doing the work in a way that empowers, we can ensure that our community voices will be heard, whether it's street vendors looking to protect their livelihood or our immigrant communities looking to stay here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Judd Creek. Um, it is true that uh, we Asian Americans need to increase our voter participation. Uh, New York State, unfortunately, has some of the lowest voter participation rates in the country. And we absolutely need to change that. And Asian Americans, again, on top of that, are even lower. So there's a lot of work that we need to do to make sure that we exercise our vote. Um, next up, we have Karen Zhao from Homecrest Community Services. Thank you so much, Don. Um, I'm Karen Zhou with Homecrest Community Services. Um, our organization is focused on the mission of improving the quality of life for immigrant seniors and those that are otherwise disadvantaged living in the Brooklyn area. Um, we're here to support the uh, APA Voice today for the National Voter Registration Day uh, because it is important for our community to not be invisible. We've been invisible for too long, marginalized, and voting is is important in, in getting our voice out there. Um, I'm very proud that many of the HomeQuest members in Brooklyn uh, that have joined us many, many years are registered voters and they continue to vote and we want to extend the service out to the rest of the entire community to encourage voters, um, potential voters, and all voters to come out and vote. Um, so I want to thank the leadership, John Park and his team at APA Voice and thank you for organizing this and together I think we can have a stronger voice at this critical juncture. Um, uh, uh, when we really need to vote. <laughs> Thanks so much. Uh, thank you, Karen. I think I sort of ended on a little bit of a down note um, when I mentioned that we have really low part voter participation rates. The hopeful part is this, however, that uh, you know we recently had the New York uh, State primary. Uh, we actually tripled the voter turnout from the 2014 uh, New York State primary. So we have to maintain and continue this trend. Uh, our power is there, and we need everyone to come out to vote. Um, next, I'd like to bring up Carrie Mai from the United Chinese Association of Brooklyn. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Carrie. I'm from the United Chinese Association of Brooklyn in Bensonhurst, and we are the partner of um, the APA Voice. 
we are happy that we can be part of the conference here today. And um, we are here to ask you to vote. Practice your voice. If you want to represent the community, you have to vote. Together, we can make a difference. Thank you. Thank you, Carrie. Um, a lot is at stake for voters, as we all know as communities. Uh, there's, there's health care, there's climate change, there's gun control, uh, there's uh, immigration issues that have been relentlessly under attack under the current White House administration. Uh, and unless we vote, unless we exercise our power, that is not going to change. Um, I'd like to now bring up uh, John Cho from the Greater Flushing Chamber of Commerce. Thank you, John. I'm here as a Korean American, an Asian American, a person of color, an immigrant, to join with APA Voice, to stand with the Assemblyman uh, Ron Kim and other people here to really encourage all of the people in our community to come out, register, stand up, and vote. When we have people in our community being picked up by federal agents for no fault of their own because they may have not the right documents. We have to stand up and register and vote. When we have uh, uh, women being sexually assaulted in this country um, and their uh, assailants being nominated to the Supreme Court, we have to stand up, register and vote. When we have small businesses and vendors being uh, taken advantage of and their livelihoods being taken away, we have to stand up, register, and vote. And when we have a community board that votes down a community health clinic that would serve 40,000 of our brothers and sisters, mothers and parents, uh, who, need, who are desperately in need of high quality health insurance, uh, we need to stand up, register, and vote. So please come out and, and register. Thank you. Thank you, John. Um, yeah, it's absolutely important. And this is, as I was mentioning before, this is the first step. Uh, we have to not only register and vote and then vote, but also hold our elected officials accountable. That's not Ron's right here. So <laughs> like we're gonna hold all of our elected officials accountable and also participate, have your voice. Uh, and, uh, and if there's an issue that's important to you, speak out. I think there's some groups outside actually uh, uh, some small business owners or street vendors who are trying to uh, voice what is important to them as well. So it's important to exercise that, that, that voice um, and express what, what you need in, our, in your communities. And there's two, a couple things that we need to do. First, register to vote. It's National Voter Registration Day. And two, come out to vote. Um, there's an old quote that I, that I heard when I was younger and has always resonated with me, which is, the most common way that people give up their power is by believing that they don't have any. And I think this is, uh, this particularly affects a lot of Asian Americans who think that, you know, uh, it might not matter how they vote, but it absolutely matters because people will not care about our communities unless we vote. Uh, I, know, I know it's raining outside. Um, a lot of people still came out. Uh, rain does not stop our democratic process. So, uh, so that's why we're all here. Um, I want to thank the library again for hosting this press conference and bringing more attention to National Voter Registration Day. Of course, the, the Mingo staff were, were amazing and have been working on this as well, who, who, who's participating today. Our local assembly member, Ron Kim, uh, and, uh, and uh, all of the APA Voice Coalition members who've been working really hard and have been committed and been partnering with uh, us to increase civic participation, not only in, um, in our local communities, but throughout in all the boroughs in New York City. Uh, if you have any additional questions, please, like we'll be around for a little while. Thank you. Can you step in front of the... Is there a representative from Councilman Kim's office? Oh, oh. Okay. Uh oh.
Maybe we can have some of the ladies in the back come to the front. <laughs> Make yourself visible. Is that funny? Yeah. Looking here. One, two, three. Perfect. Hold on. <laughs> Please look at this camera. One, two, three. Couple more shots. One, two, three. Okay, right here, please.